Matthew with F Class Community Channel here. Um, I want to uh, update you on my OCW testing. Um, when I first went out to do the first series of uh, rounds and groups for my OCW test, I found that uh, the point of impact was for some reason uh, 10 inches away from my impact. Uh, my aim point. So what I had to do was I had to shift my scope uh, to compensate for that uh, windage correction. And what I've done is uh, since I have burst Z rings with the inserts, I, I put in the 0.1s or, or yeah 0.1 uh, shims and readjusted it. And now I have all my windage back and actually it's it's, it's zeroed on. Uh, exactly on the zero hash mark on my uh, windage turret. Uh, so I, ha I decided to retest all my loads but uh, put it into a little bit of higher range uh, since the uh, lower powder charge was showing a, a different point of impact than uh, anything above 43.9. So I've, uh, I've put up uh, uh, 43.9, seven, uh, seven different loads to bring it up to 45.0, which isn't book, is actually well above book. So, you guys, you have to be careful about using any of the loads that I'm showing you guys. So, uh, right now, uh, I'll show you here 43.9 to 45.0, uh, N150 with a 185 grain uh, burger uh, juggernauts. So hopefully at the end of the day I will be able to uh, show you guys uh, the results and uh, give you guys an idea of how the rifle is shooting. So far the rifle is shooting um, uh, sub, MOA, uh, sub half MOA groups and this is actually one of the groups that I, I shot with just, that's just three rounds there with 43 uh, of N150 and uh, so far it, it's it's very promising uh, the, the groups have uh, the rifle has been performing very well um, and uh, I hope to nail down a group uh, a little later on uh, I will do a seating depth test after this once I determine a point of impact and I will continue on uh, uh, the seating depth test at 200 meters uh, in order to determine uh, which which seating depth uh, for the load I choose produces the least amount of vertical. At any rate, Matthew with F Class Community Channel here. Uh, remember, keep an eye on the flags and tight groups. I'll 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 show you guys the results at the end. Hi, Matthew here to follow up with the end of the day results of the OCW testing round two. The first round uh, which I did uh, about a few weeks ago uh, was shot and the results there were pretty good however I felt like there was extra velocity uh, and extra um, nodes that were left on the table in terms of analysis so uh, and also what happened was um, for whatever reason uh, the rifle and the scope was uh, lining up 10, uh, 10 minutes to the left sorry 10 minutes to the right so I had to shim my scopes and reset zero uh, today and uh, this was the results of today's uh, zer zeroing and today's OCW test uh, the, if we're just going to base it on groups itself, uh, the groups are are really good <laughs> at, at 100 meters. Um, in terms of uh, POI, I will have to do with uh, a little bit more analysis uh, through the on-target um, uh, uh, program uh, that will measure the group size and the group locations. And what I'll do is I end up um, graphing uh, my results. Um, from here, I will go into 
uh, a decision in terms of which powder I would choose. Test a point one of a grain on either side of that to see if the node uh, is a little better uh, or worse. And also do seeding depth test at 200, um, um, 200 meters, which is the max range and, and probably at 300 uh, meters. Uh, when I go to my competition, I'll find out if uh, there is additional vertical that's uh, induced um, by the, the combination of powder, bullet, seeding depth, and, and whatnot. However, um, why distance test? Well, you look at here, this is a group, a uh, five shot group with five different types of powder at 100 meters. Uh, what that tells me is you can't you, you can't tell any difference. Um, uh, it's going into one single hole. So, um, except for the fly here, which I may or may not have pulled. <laughs> At any rate, um, uh, this there's one shot that I, I was certain that I pulled and I reshot it because I, I usually load four rounds for my OCW testing and uh, it shot in line with the uh, th uh, third shot that I put on 44 and a half. Um, other than that, I mean, the <laughs> those are those are some pretty tight groups coming out of the rifle. I'm very happy with the results. So hopefully down down the road, will I'll uh, in in a in a week's time I will have a OCW load uh, tested it and and uh, sorted out. Uh, just hopefully just in time for my, the first competition of, of the year at Mission uh, at uh, 300 meters uh, uh, at the Mission uh, Rod and Gun Club. So, at any rate, uh, this is Matthew with F-Class Community Channel bringing you a little um, insight into um, my previous OCW test, my most recent OCW test, and what <laughs> a five round five different types of powder charge or six different types of powder charge uh, group would look like it's it's tiny at 100 meters all right remember keep an eye on the flags and tight groups